So what we're going to do today is probably a wee bit of farming, then schoolwork or college work, and then we're going to probably meet up with Rachel and maybe Nathan. Uh, I'm not that sure what we're doing with Nathan. So today we have already just put out some cows, and that's them over there. So they are. And this pen of cows are going to a different field down the road. But I actually have to go look at it and go look around it to see if there's any like holes in the hedges that need patched up and stuff like that there. And this cow is just calved. So that's the bee baby calf at the moment. And because her elder is really really full, she has more milk and she can give that calf, so we need to go get a new calf. So, let's do that now. So, now we're at a farm. Well, we're just pulling into the farm. It's actually my uncle's farm, so I don't think he's up for like a camera being in his face. So I'm just going to leave the camera here, okay? Alright, now my uncle didn't actually have any cows for sale. He has cows for, for his own cows, but that's really it. He didn't have any other cows for sale. So now we're literally just going around the road here to another farm and we're going to see if they have any cows for sale. Here we are. So, this looks to be the fourth place that I've stopped, third or fourth anyway, and I cannot find anybody to sell me a calf. <laughs> so, from what it looks like is, it looks like Dad's going to have to go to the mart, which is a place where you buy cows and sell cows, and go there tomorrow and go and buy, buy a cow for the cow. So, I guess we head on home and go and do something else. Now that I'm back home, I'm going to go and fix this fence in the field that the cows are going to go out on, so taking the quad, taking a hammer, a few steeples, and I'm also taking a knife, also some rope. <laughs> This is the fence. This is the wire that holds up the fence. This here stuff here. It's called bob wire. And it's been completely knocked down and trampled over into our neighbor's field, which is which is this field over here. I think I should really invest in a GoPro. But anyway, all right, all I'm going to do here is probably just tidy this wee bit up here so the guys just don't walk straight out onto the road. But anyway, this thing here is called a windbreaker, right? Because there's no hedges against this side here, because there's just a river down here, there's nowhere for the guys to hide behind. So they can like have somewhere like this here. So this was 
kind of funny because this was this cost us about 30 pound okay and I was thinking there's really big farmers around here anyway so well way bigger than us maybe like I don't know 20 times the size of us but a farmer right across the road made their own windbreaker and they made it out of concrete and all this here stuff and probably spent I don't know hundreds of pounds on it where we spent about 30 I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, it's now time to do a whole pile of homework and stuff like that. Engineering. And after this, probably Rachel will come here. Rachel's here now and we're going to get pancakes and then get a shower and then go and leave in some tech work, which, which is this year, but hopefully this is good. The other day, right, I was going to a public toilet and it was one of the ones that you pay into, okay? Mm -hmm. So I looked over at the time whenever, like whenever you put in the money, there's a tweet timer that comes up and it said 20 minutes. So like I was just taking a pee, but well, you could go for a poo. That's 20 minutes. So do you think someone actually decided, sat down and decided how long is long enough for a poo, but not long enough for people to have sex? cinema after afterwards so just gonna end this here now so bye bye